Hmm. Well, I feel like we've got a, a regular neutrophil there. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if that's regular and just folded funnier if it's a band, maybe. That looks like something abnormal. I don't know what those are. That looks like an EO, maybe. Um, we'll see how wrong I am in a minute. And those, I think, are kind of in blasty or in the blasty type lineage. But I kind of wonder if if they're at different levels of maturation, like, cause they all look kind of different from each other. All right. So now it, tell me how bad I failed. <laughs> so that's a basophil. Oh, I and that's what the, the granular basophil looks granular like. So remember basophil. the, ba the basophil I showed you before, like, you know, Only I looked a at few... it cross side a yes. little bit degranulated. So that's more of a purple. Okay. Than that, the that barbie pink, uh, yeah. Neutrophil probably either a, Pro, I would say seg because I can see there's a little yeah, okay. there. That's just a funny fold. Okay. Um, myelocyte, 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 uh, either a, a meta or a myelocyte. It's sort of got that dawning of neutrophilia. So. Oh, I remember hearing that a long time ago. And then that's a blast. A blast. So they are kind of, they're all myeloid precursor cells at different stages. Yeah. So what is this? So then does that mean this person has chronic myeloid leukemia, CML? Yeah. Because you CML. get a range. You don't have enough blasts, right? But, but And you have different levels of maturation. Okay. Right. And this ended up being chronic phase. So there were less than 5% total blasts in the cool. personal blood. Uh, so I say that, that CML sort of looks like the bone marrow has hit the peripheral blood a little ah. bit. Because you have all the stages of maturation. You'll all often see a myelocyte bulge. Again, I was like, myelocyte, 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 myelocyte. Oh, I see. And then you get a basophilia. And you often will also get an absolute eosinophilia. Okay. But CML, again, can be, you know, can present variably. A lot of different ways, yeah. You can even just get a thrombocytosis. So the real way to diagnose CML is to do the 922 translocation test. Okay. So you're uh, BCR able. And these myelocytes, did... Can they look a little bit like monocytes or I guess monocytes have the, like a more of a. Yeah. So if you look really, really closely, so these are young monocytes cause they've got that blue tinge. Still. Wait, they're monocytes or they're myelocytes? Sorry, sorry. Myelocytes. Oh, okay. Uh, they're, they're young myelocytes cause they have a little bit of that blue tinge uh -huh. yet. They're, they're getting their, their secondary granules. Oh, okay. I see. So they've transitioned from the pro myelocyte stage where they only had primary granules and now they're getting their secondary granules. Okay. Um, this is a little bit of an, older myelocyte and you can see that it's cytoplasm pinky, right? yeah. looks mm -hmm. more like the neutrophil. Okay. They're still myelocytes. Okay. Cool. Just, you know, in the book it looks like things go from here and then jump to here and then jump to here. But they and actually it's really slowly like evolve. Spectrum. Huh? I personally like to give things the benefit of the doubt and if it's sort of an, a tweener, I give it the benefit of maturity. Oh, okay. That's helpful. That's and, good to know. Uh, I'm not saying that's right or wrong. It's just what I do consistently. I and think so you should be just consistent in what, and know what you're going to do and why. I love that you said that. I think in all, in my areas too, when I teach, I say the same thing. I don't necessarily know if this is the best or right way to handle it. This is just how I do it. And I try to do it that same way every time. And I think that's what a lot of times people want to know. Like, People who, you know, you see this all day long and you found a way to handle something practically and that's the hardest part sometimes with pathology is knowing how to practically work through things.